So many people come to Vietnam for the first time and really fall in love with the place. So in our last video, we showed you ways to find jobs and how to be competitive in the market. But if you're looking to stay long term, live here, and also possibly invest, today we want to show you six ways in order to make money here in Vietnam. So let's get started. So we are here in District 1 on Le Thanh Tôn Street in alley number 8 and we're here at Ken Coffee. It's one of our retail businesses that I've invested in and it's one of the ways that you can actually make money. So if you don't know me, my name is Ken Yung, International Business and Immigration Attorney with over 13 years of experience helping people live, work, invest and also get citizenships in other countries such as Portugal, United States, Grenada and other parts of Europe. So this is the video that we want to talk about about how to make money and live in Vietnam. But before I get into that topic, make sure that you click on the bell for notifications and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So I don't know if you know, but uh, Vietnam is moving into industrialization whereby people want convenience. They are young, they are due income families, and they're working, so therefore they are also looking for convenience. 70% of Vietnam is under 35 years old, and 50% are under 30 years old. So people at that working age really want to be able to get things fast, quickly, premium, and they're willing to pay a high price for it. So that's what we're going to talk about today on six ways to make money in Vietnam. The first way is you can be an investor in Vietnam, such as a limited partner or limited shareholder of a larger business. So through that, one of the examples that we have is you can get the DT4, which is Đầu Tư or Investment Visa Category 4, which is a minimum investment of 3 billion VND, which right now is equivalent to about 130,000 US dollars. That allows you a 12-month visa, renewable five times, which equals about five years. So let's just give a very simple example of a opportunity that falls within an investor. There are many franchises, convenience stores, such as 7-Eleven, Mini Stop, Family Mart right here, and also GS25, that you can have a full operator, marketer, HR, and they'll run in the entire business, what is called an absentee owner business, so that you can focus on just actually um, hanging out and also retire or do what you want. So as an investor under the GS25 program or the other franchise, then you will get a DT4 visa. But you can also invest into other industries as well, such as startups, technology companies. For example, I invested into East Films. It's a movie production company of seven partners who have over 50 years of experience making feature films in Vietnam and also in Hollywood. So that's another investment. You can also invest in technology, blockchain technology, NFTs as well. So that's one way for you to invest here is just purely be an investor of a small or medium-sized percentage within a company and just be a limited partner or shareholder. Another area that you can really find good investments is the logistics industry, which includes supply chain, freight forwarding, shipping, air, and also ground transportation. So over the last 20 years, Vietnam has steadily increased under the Logistics Performance Index. In 2018, Vietnam was 39th out of 160 countries around the world in performance in logistics. And also it's number three only after Singapore and Thailand. So if you're in the logistics area, it's a great way to make money. We have a few clients are in that area as well. And also we're looking to invest within the logistics space. The country is calling for investment to further develop the logistics industry. They are a gateway seaport in the three regions of the country. Container ships development for intra-Asia and long-range services such as America, Europe and Australia on joint venture modes or long-term credit arrangements. Seafarer training development and regional logistics hub centers. Did you know in the last 10 years, foreign direct investment or FDI into Vietnam has increased dramatically, over 15.2% increase. So as of 2022, it had $17.73 billion of foreign direct investment into Vietnam. So, but before you make an investment into Vietnam, you want to make sure that you do a feasibility study on your sector, on the competition, and of course, do your SWOT analysis to make sure that 
you are under the regulations and not against WTO or other uh, conditions or regulations. So that's something that we can help you with if you decide to invest into Vietnam. And here are some of the other factors and considerations you need to see before you invest. There are four different types of investment. One, 100% foreign owned entity. The minimum shareholder is one, but no more than 50. Foreign owned entity can export and conduct domestic sales. Two, joint venture entity. With the majority of foreign owned capital, at least 51%. It requires at least two shareholders. The foreign investor could hold up to 99% shares. Three, contractual arrangement. This form of investment does not set up a new legal entity. The investors in a business cooperation contract share the revenue and or products arising from a BCC. It is a cooperation agreement between foreign investors and at least one Vietnamese partner in order to carry out specific business activities. Four, representative office. It is not a separate legal entity under the laws of Vietnam. The activities of a RO are limited to business promotion, identification and accelerating the trade opportunities, supervising the implementation of contracts signed between its parent, companies and local partners. What if you already have a business in mind and you want to get it established? What would you do? Now that you know you need to open up a company, we will let you know to prepare certain documentations and dossiers in order to submit to the government. So at Yung Global, we have teams of legal experts that help you with industries you can invest in, restrictions, what conditions, taxation, employment, and also other regulations you need in order to establish a business in Vietnam. And whether you need an investment registration certificate on top of your enterprise registration certificate as well. So those are things that we can help you with. So in order to get more information about that, click on the top right hand corner in order to watch the video on how to open a company in Vietnam. Let's get back into how to make money in Vietnam and which area is really trending. So another trending area is in engineering. According to a website, jobhoppin.com, IT graduates that are graduating from university, only 15% of them are meeting the requirements by the companies. This means that it's a 2.5 to 1 ratio. That means 2.5 companies are competing to get one candidate for the engineering and software development or IT industry in Vietnam. Vietnam recently has been a powerhouse in the outsourcing and IT development and it has attracted a lot of the large Fortune 500 and global 500 companies such as Samsung, Bosch, Avaya, even Apple, LG and many of these other global technology companies and of course Intel, uh, one of the American companies. So if you're looking at that particular IT area and growing in the engineering space, then Vietnam is definitely the place for you to make money. While taking advantage of the key competitive factors of cost, the country has also worked to improve its engineering workforce to make it a key competitive advantage in the future investing heavily in human capital throughout the past decade. Worldwide economic communities have begun to recognize the country's consistent efforts. Local software developers and digital strategists still lack experience working with international enterprises. Therefore, Vietnam needs manpower in positions like professional software developer, trainers, digital marketing specialists, automation experts, etc. The average salary of engineer is $84,000 per year. Another great way to make money in Vietnam is either you're an entrepreneur or an executive or a position of both. So to be an executive of a Fortune 500 or global company, then you would have to possess the skills, experience, and also recommendations within the area, such as lateraling from Singapore or from Hong Kong or other regional positions to be an executive in Vietnam. Many of large corporations such as Intel, Coca-Cola, PepsiCo, and uh, Procter & Gamble will hire executives to come into Vietnam to run the entire operations. 
the other way to look at it is if you're an entrepreneur uh, and you're the CEO of the company, if you are using a corporation that you own at least 5% and if you're an LLC to own at least 10% of that business to be considered an entrepreneur to run the business. And that is the majority of the people who come to Vietnam will make money as entrepreneurs. In the event that CEO is not the investor of the company, he or she must have professional qualifications and practical experience in corporate management or in the main lines of the company's business. According to LinkedIn, CEOs and CFOs are the most highest salary jobs in Vietnam. The average pay for CEO is $75,000 per year and CFOs is $40,000 per year. If being an entrepreneur or an executive is not for you, then maybe there's other ways to make money, such as being a pilot. So another way to make money is being a high-skilled workforce, such as a pilot. A pilot is responsible for tracking, navigation path, all the lives of thousands of people every single day. Thus, they have a very high stress and also high-skilled type of work. Therefore, they are paid a lot better than other jobs because it's high-skilled. IATA or International Air Transport Association forecasts that the total number of travelers will reach 4 billion in two years, with the Vietnamese market exceeding the world average in terms of the aviation recovery pace. According to the Vietnam National Administration of Tourism data, domestic visitors in May 2022 reached 12 million visitors and arrivals, up 243% compared to the same period in 2021. This fact, combined with many other aspects, urges domestic airlines to feed their pilot recruitment needs and right-size their fleets, creating opportunities for prospective pilots. The average salary for a pilot in Vietnam is $18,000 per year. If being a pilot is not for you, then another position is a business analyst. So business analysts will look at big data collected by a corporation or surveys or companies in order to make certain business decisions in HR, marketing, sales, finance, and other areas for a particular company. All types of companies will need it, such as technology, retail businesses, franchises, manufacturing. So what does a business analyst do? So first you have to find ways to collect the data, then you aggregate the data, then you separate the data, and then you actually analyze it to create charts and graphs for executives to make their business decisions or for various different departments and sectors within the company. So it's really no surprise that in the last 10 years, due to the amount of data that has been collected through servers, and if you look at Google or Amazon or Apple, that it has increased over double digits percentage every single year in the last 10 years. And that's why being a business analyst will be critical important and a growing area to make good money in Vietnam. Although much of the job is managing databases to perform descriptive and predictive statistical analysis, the other part of the job is presenting it in an easy to understand manner for managers and executives. Therefore, proficiency in data visualization software is essential to the business analyst. The average salary for a business analyst in Vietnam is $11,000 per year. If investing into a convenience store or a franchise or being an executive is not for you and you just want some passive investment, then you want to look into long-term investing in real estate. So Vietnam changed their regulations in 2017 to allow foreigners to buy apartments, condos, and non-landed properties and non-land specific. But there are restrictions as well. So there's certain 30 or 40 percent foreign quota in particular projects, in particular districts, and also cities and provinces. So you might want to look into that or contact our team of experts to help you identify what is the quota and what is the price and also be able to help you to find real estate in Vietnam. Looking at the investments, uh, our team will help you identify the project, look at your risk tolerance, financing if you need it as well, and also see if they can do a short, midterm, and long-term mix for your real estate investment in Vietnam. And in order to learn more about how to buy and invest in real estate in Vietnam, you can click on the right-hand corner to watch our video on the 10 steps to purchase real estate in Vietnam. So as a general rule, foreigners are not permitted to buy land in Vietnam, and that's a general regulation. However, there may be some exceptions. If you're interested in knowing, 
please contact and we'll let you know. Now that we shared with you six ways in order to make money in Vietnam, you need to choose what is the most appropriate for you. And if you have detailed or specific questions, we'll be happy to give you a consultation. So as always, thank you very much for watching this video. On behalf of Yung Global, we want to make sure you get all the best information possible. But make sure you like our Facebook page, subscribe to our YouTube channel, comment below on how you are making money in Vietnam, and click on the bell for notifications. So thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Oh, 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 oh,